What's going on guys? I have a another unboxing. This is from Kyle over at Red Wolf EDC. And I do not know what's in it. I don't remember. He sends me pictures and says, do you want to borrow anything? And I kind of circle some stuff and I send it back the picture back to him and then he sends it. And I'm sure he never remembers to put a note in here as to what is in it. So, yeah, I don't know. So, if I remember what they are when I open this up, I will share. And if not, well, you know, you'll see when we do the full videos. How about that? Um, let me see. How's the easiest way to get this open? Don't know. Just go like this. Oftentimes I try to save the box because I will reuse it later, but oftentimes I don't save the boxes. I think there's three in here. I don't know. Let's just see what we got. Oh, that's right. <laughs> that's right. We'll save that one for in a minute. Um, oh, yeah. This one looked kind of interesting. Karambit style that doesn't flip open that's awesome it's got like the wave uh function so as you pull it out of your pocket it will deploy i'm not a super great you know knife fighter karambit dude but i was interested to check this one out i've seen a couple of karambits on the channel before uh oh there's two in here okay this one looked interesting because of the Damascus. And this is a uh, Hewitt. I don't know. I'm going to have to get all the details. Another one that doesn't. What the heck? Did he send me a bunch of stuff that doesn't quite flip open? So we'll check that out and I'll get some more details on that. This is the Crooked River. This one I do know what it is. I've done a mini Crooked River video before, but I don't think I've done a full-size Crooked River. So I was very interested to see this one. So that's very cool. Access lock. I think that he, whoa, that he dyed the handles red, but I don't know that for certain, for certain. But that is, man, it's so fast I can't even close it right because it just is so smooth. This is a cool one that I did want to check out for sure. And then this one, this is a mid-tech Hellraiser from Red Horse Knife Works. So there's three different versions, right? There is the production version, which I rave about. And then there is the mid-tech version. And then there's a custom. And I have a message out to Ed, the owner, uh, right now about making me a custom. But the mid-tech is pretty cool. This one has a little bit of lock stick, I think, but it'll break in a little bit and be cool. So this one's pretty cool. I do have another one of these coming from Alex um, with another red horse. So Alex is sending me two red horse knives right now. So it will be interesting to see that one also. So yeah, very cool. This one was something I was interested in seeing also because I am working on getting a custom, but I may end up having to buy a mid tech now also so that I can have all three variants because I absolutely love these knives. So while I don't know the names of all of these, stay tuned. We will have videos on all of them coming very soon. All right. Thanks guys. Have a great night and we will see you tomorrow.